What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cruise News Show. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news. Well, today, let's talk about a big change that is set to possibly shake the cruise industry. We have a very big cruise line going all-inclusive. In a nutshell, Celebrity is now including things that used to cost money, including basic alcoholic drinks, including Wi-Fi, and including the gratuities, the daily gratuities. The gratuities that you would pay to your cabin steward now will be included on Celebrity. And let's look at this in three ways. Let's look at this, what this may mean for the customer, what this may mean for the crew member, and then broadly, what may this mean for the industry. If we start with the customer base, I have been beating the drum for years. I can point you to several videos where I raised my hand and said, I do not like the gratuity system on cruise lines. I think it's challenging for the consumer. I don't know that it's fair for the crew member. I've advocated strongly that can you just include the daily gratuity in my cruise fare? I don't want to be negotiating labor contracts on my cruise vacation. I don't need to worry about whether everybody's getting paid enough money. I'm just trying to go on a cruise. This has been my argument. And now Celebrity Cruises has done it. They are now including the gratuity, but they did not stop there. They're also including basic alcoholic drinks and Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is a big deal for me. I love the idea that there is free Wi-Fi. And even though we're not big alcohol drinkers, you know, the idea that you could have a Bloody Mary at brunch sounds pretty cool. And even more so, is specialty coffee is included in their package. Now, I know people want to know what the details are, so let's take a moment to talk about the details of this program, and then we'll get back into the commentary. Here's the details. Unlimited drinks, classic cocktails, wine by the glass, beer, sodas, specialty coffee and teas, juices, and bottled water. I mean, that that covers a lot. That covers a ton. I think that covers a lot. It just depends. Unlimited Wi-Fi. Now, this isn't the top. This isn't the creme de la creme Wi-Fi, not the fastest speed. They got another package for that. And then daily gratuities. These are the gratuities that are assigned to your cruise bill or those gratuities that you could prepay. Now, you don't have to worry about them. Now, Celebrity recognizes that there are people that will want to pay for premium alcohol. And there are people that may want shore excursions included in their new all-inclusive experience. So I have the Elevate option, which uh, takes what they're already including with your cruise price, and they're elevating it, right? Uh, takes the package to new heights, included unlimited premium drinks, and adds shore excursions up to $200 per person. I don't know what the cost of the Elevate upgrade is, but the fact that uh, everybody can take excursions up to $200 each, it could be expensive. Uh, and then there is the Indulge package, which is even the next level, which unfortunately is probably what I would want because the the sexy thing in the indulge package is the wi-fi nerd alert okay so indulge includes everything in the elevate package and adds to it unlimited streaming wi-fi and up to four hundred dollars per person in onboard credit to spend in almost any way desired so really you do get to like if you lay out all the money for that indulge package you could probably get on the cruise ship and not spend another dime they're giving you four hundred dollars to spend here and there around the ship they're giving you that top shelf Licka, they're giving you like the highest and they're giving you the fastest internet plus their shore excursions baked in the whole thing this is really all inclusive cruising if you pay the indulge price again for the consumer the, what that price is is going to be the, the big thing and then just a note if you are in the retreat which is like the cruise within a cruise on Celebrity uh, the concept featuring the all suite accommodations you get all of this stuff included you get everything from the indulge down so if you just book the retreat which is the most expensive option you're going to get all this stuff anyways. Uh, of course, the more you pay, the more you get to play. And that's going to be the big question for consumers. Now you're including things that I would normally buy a la carte. Now you're uh, saying I don't have to do daily gratuities. I don't have to buy drinks and coffee and water on a per drink basis. 
obviously my price is going to have to go up. So the question becomes, will the increase in price be more beneficial than doing everything a la carte? So for me, a big thing that I spend money on a la carte on cruise ships, Wi-Fi, specialty coffee, water, soda, uh, the occasional alcoholic beverage. So this gives me an opportunity for at least Jenny and I to roll all those things that we normally buy one off into one big bucket. So we just have to weigh out what going on another line of a similar vibe, similar level of service as celebrity. Uh, is that going to be more or less expensive to pay the all-inclusive price that celebrity offers or say go to Princess and buy everything a la carte? I think Princess and Celebrity, uh, they match up fairly well. Just to talk a little bit about the vibe of Celebrity Cruises. First of all, Celebrity Cruises part of the Royal Caribbean group. And the way I would describe Celebrity Cruises is a casual sophistication. Can I juxtapose those two words, casual and sophistication? So for me, Princess, I really enjoy it. But Princess feels a little more formal. It feels very upscale. It feels very next level uh, from like a Carnival Cruise or a regular Royal Caribbean Cruise. And Celebrity in much the same way. It feels like a step up from a regular Carnival Cruise or a regular Royal Cruise, but it doesn't feel as formal as a Princess Cruise, but it, it does feel sophisticated. I really like the vibe on Celebrity Cruises. And so for me, if I'm doing the comparison, I would say, okay, how much is a Princess Cruise uh, with me buying my drinks, with me paying the daily gratuity, with me getting the Wi-Fi compared to this all-inclusive vibe on Celebrity, that's going to be the decision that I make going forward. But I'm very pleased with this idea that Celebrity is offering this all-inclusive experience. So for most consumers, I think it's good. I think it gives you the ability to pay one price and go enjoy your vacation without worrying about what you're going to get charged with at the end of the day. Uh, it may cost a little more, but for me, I'm one of those people, I would pay a little more to have less stress. I don't want to have to worry about the tips. I don't want to have to worry about every time I get a coffee. I don't want to have to worry about asking for a bottle of water when I'm parched. Uh, you know, what? How, how many of those $4 charges are going to add up? You know, the, the beautiful thing to me about cruising is it's, it is almost all-inclusive, and this, uh, this definitely takes us one step closer. I don't know if you can hear Jenny, but she's saying that sounds like more money for the casino. Hmm. Now, before we talk about whether this is better or worse for crew members, well, I got a tip for you. If you want to be up to date on what's going on in the cruise world, cruise news, cruise industry, here's the tip. Consider subscribing to La Lita Loca with the notification bell on. That way you are in the know. Don't be left out in the cold. Hit the subscribe button. So that brings us to the question, what does this mean for the crew members? Is this better or worse for the crew members? In this area, I don't have a lot of insight. I've talked to a lot of crew members as I've cruised, but as you can imagine in their working environment, anytime you ask, hey, are, do you like your job? Are you treated well? Those kind of things. I've never had anybody tell me no, that that's not true. And you can imagine that being the case because you're right there in your workplace. So if you're a crew member, if you could leave some comments as we talk, about this that would be helpful to me i've always thought of it in two ways the cruise line they contract crew members uh, in that contract they talk about how much they're going to get paid and for some crew members there is a tipping or gratuity component and so that means that how much money that they make is really left up to the guest and it can go a couple ways you're either going to run into very generous guests that are going to bump up that wage that you're making on the cruise ship or you're going to have guests that are removing their gratuities hopefully tipping more than what they would have been required to tip by the cruise line standards but maybe there's times where people just stiff the crew and they don't include gratuities at all i've seen various conversations over the years where it does seem obvious that sometimes people remove their gratuities and tip more and sometimes people re remove their gratuities and tip less or zero and so at least to me in this scenario uh, the crew member would know exactly what they're making and the opportunity would still exist that if they go above and beyond if they perform exceptionally that that, uh, maybe the guests would be so inclined to add on an additional gratuity. At the end of the day, without knowing all the particular details, I would have to think that the contract wage for the employees on these celebrity cruises would be more than another cruise ship where part of their wage was coming exclusively from gratuities. So hopefully this change means a better working wage for the crew. Again, I don't really have any great insight on this, so I would love to hear some feedback from crew members. 
uh, down in the comments. Do you think this change will make it better or worse for the cruise crew? So we've talked about what it means for the customer. We've talked about what it means for the crew member. What does it mean for the industry? Well, all-inclusive cruising exists. It's just very expensive. It exists at the upper echelon of cruising. Cruising runs the spectrum. You can pay a whole lot for a cruise, and then you can find a great deal on a cruise and pay very little. But oftentimes on the lower end, on the discounted cruises, there's a lot of nickel and diming. And, and we know we don't love nickel and diming. And the cruise industry, they've been beat up a little bit for nickel and diming. And so when we see a major cruise line like Celebrity, again, it's probably a tier two. If we're looking at Carnival, if we're looking at at Royal Caribbean, if we're looking at NCL as kind of an entry level into cruising, then again, Princess, Celebrity, those are a tier two. I think it's industry transforming to see a, like a tier two cruise line going all inclusive. They're really not the first out of the gate on this. If we look at Virgin Voyages, who sadly picked the wrong time to start being a cruise company, this was their approach. Free Wi-Fi, some included drinks, no gratuity. So the model was already there. So maybe Celebrity uh, saw what Virgin was doing and uh, said, let's try to do the same thing. I think this could be really good for the cruise industry. It sets up a scenario where nickel and diming is less, and it really positions them to draw in people that don't like the nickel and diming, that don't like to have to look at their account every day of their cruise to make sure that they're inside of their budget. You can just pay a little bit extra for the peace of mind, knowing that you can go wild. If one day you want to have five drinks and the next day you want to have zero, you're not bound to like, am I getting my money's worth for a drink package? Uh, it takes a Away the idea of whether or not you got enough money to tip at the end of the cruise and and maybe you're not somebody that's that into wi-fi and and you've had times on your cruises where you're like oh i wish i just had it for five minutes so i could send a message home or something like that but i'm not buying the wi-fi package well now with this kind of change it's it's included so it takes away what i feel like is a lot of stress points that some people may have on cruising and some people may not have those stress points at all to be fair but uh, i do see a lot of scenarios where this all-inclusive vibe by celebrity uh really becomes Becomes helpful to the cruise industry and I feel like it will draw more passengers. I tell you what it does as a cruiser pricing cruises now it's always in the back of my mind if I'm getting ready to try a different cruise line or a different cruise ship I will probably be price checking celebrity and go okay how much is the same comparable cruise how much more is it where I can get the drinks the Wi-Fi and not have to worry about gratuities uh, I think it's going to be good for the cruise industry it'll be interesting to see if other cruise lines follow this model hey but that's just my opinion what do you think is this good or bad for cruising good or bad for the crew good or bad for the consumer leave a comment below the word of the day is tip if you are so creatively inclined please include the word tip in your comments thank you so much for stopping by watching the show today please show your support by hitting the like button i'll go ahead and put a playlist of all of my crazy cruise tip rants here uh, if you want to know more about cruise tipping make sure that you check that out uh, this is tony for la lita loca and until the next time We'll see you on the Lido.